Okay, then, so hello everyone. I'm Rafael from Unbox Project. And today I'm gonna present a Java challenge about date. So I'm gonna just share my screen. Okay, so we are declaring a list. So we have three Spider-Man objects. So we have three suits, the suits of uh, the suit of Spider-Man, uh, the black suit and Spider-Man 2099. And we have also local dates here. Uh, uh, we have the year, the month, and the day. And uh, we are also instantiating a local date with the year of 2017 uh, of September and uh, of the day 18. And here we are basically um, doing uh, for each into that list. So I'm going to ask you what the output will be. And I'll give you some time to think about it. And then when you are ready, you, uh, you can just come up with the answer. OK, guys, uh, so are you ready to see the answer? Mm -hmm. Yes. OK, so let's see it. OK. So yeah, unfortunately, nobody got it. But I will explain why. So. This challenge is basically to show you how powerful is this new library of date from Java 8. So we can create dates really easily here. So we can declare the year, the month, and the days. So one nice thing of this local date is that we can use an enum for the month. So it's much more clear to know what month we are instead of using numbers because they are very confusing. And uh, they did a good job changing the month to a, a annual. It's far better to read. And yeah, we created this list with those three Spider-Man objects. And then we create another date here. So you can realize here that in the Spider-Man constructor, we are passing the costume and also the date. What you might not have realized is that we are um, adding two days and two years. So that means that, for example, if we are passing here 1962, uh, we're going to have 1964 here because we are adding two years. And here we're gonna add, since we are adding two days, it's gonna be 10. And here is the same thing. We're gonna add two, so it's gonna be 1986. And uh, here it's gonna be 10 days for the black suit. And for Spider-Man 2099, we're gonna have uh, 1994 and the day 19. OK, so yeah, basically, we have also the for each method that we basically are uh, iterating each Spider-Man and verifying the just the range of the days and the, ra the range of the years. So that's it, basically, what's happening. And uh, so let's just run it again. Yeah, so basically, what's happening here, um, for example, in this first line, we have um, 1962 plus 2 and minus that's going to be 53 in the end. So it's 8 plus 2, that's 10, and then minus 18. So yeah, so it's this logic for each line. So it's basically the year plus um, 2, and then minus uh, 2017. And uh, that will be uh, the same as 53. 
And here is uh, basically eight plus two minus 18. That's gonna be eight. And the same logic will be applied to every Spider-Man suit. So yeah, just need to make this logic. Uh, the, the important thing of this challenge is to show you how, uh, for example, the between method work as well. So it's, it's really, really powerful. I mean, when you use this between method, you can use the, the, the creation date and um, a date that is uh, greater than the creation date. And then you can get the, the interval of, these, uh, of those dates. So you can get years, you can get days, you can get, let's see, you can get several things. So you can get centuries, decades, eras, uh, you can get hours, you can get millis, you can get seconds, weeks. So it's really, really powerful. And uh, on, um, on business applications, it's very common for us to use those kind of methods. So it's really, really handy to know that we have this between method and uh, that we can create a date so easily with the, this new API from Java 8. So the local date uh, class is very powerful as well. Okay, guys, and another thing that's important to mention is that um, is to see how easy it is to uh, add days or to add years. Um, so you see here that we can add months, we can add weeks. So we can do many, many things with this uh, library. And it's far easier than using calendar from um, the previous versions of Java. And that's it, guys. Do you have any questions? Yes, I have a couple of questions, Rafa. OK. Um, so the first one is, you know, probably this might be a very basic and a trivial question, but, uh, you know, local date, is this, is, this, uh, is, this, uh, is this library in Java 8 or, or Java 9? It's from Java 8. So yeah. this library is the same one as the Yoda time. So there was a very powerful library that Java developers used to use. And uh, you can use those handy methods that makes our life so much easier than using the calendar and those other classes. I see. And the other question which I had was the chrono unit. So chrono unit is 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 it a is it a library or I mean you're using chrono unit uh, in period dot get. Uh, no, chrono units is just a just a nanium. So okay. here you have some uh, some names that are easy to understand, like seconds, minutes, hours, half days, days, weeks, months, that uh, you can use here, for example. So instead of using numbers, this get method receives the temporal uh, unit interface that, uh, yeah. So okay. yeah, this Enium is implementing the, the interface temporal unit. So it's easier to understand what, what we are getting here. I know that there are some methods in Java that you pass numbers to say, oh, if I want a month, you put one. Or uh, if I want a days, you put two. But uh, it's far uh, more clear if we use Enium. So it's much better. Right. OK. Well, thank you. This is good. OK. So yeah, thank you, guys. Do you have any further questions? Um, I want to comment. And uh, if it, the, the between method is called, if it, if it change the position, uh, there is, there is neg negative date. Oh, it, it will uh, adjust to be uh, always positive. That was a doubt I had. Exactly. If we um, change positions here, it gets negative. You're right. All right. I had that doubt, doubt too right now. 
but that okay. that's good uh, uh sure uh for sure it's it's an, an, an amazing and uh i have a work work a bit dated in the uh, the older java versions and the local date uh, and for, for sure, it improved a lot the way we work with data. In fact, it's turned it very easy, very easier to work with data. Yeah. Thanks for the, the, this this good content. It's okay. very, very valuable for uh, any Java developer who needs to, to deal with dates. It's a very, okay. very good way to deal with dates. OK, so thank you, guys. Uh, I'm going to just stop sharing my screen. OK, so the challenge we saw today was about dates. So I wanted to show you how handy the methods from Java 8 are um, and how easy it is to work with dates with this amazing library. And uh, if, if you are working with a library, use uh, this, new, uh, this new library because it will make your code far better. Of course, if you are working with Java 8 or further versions of Java. And uh, yes, if you want to um, know more, you go to nobugsproject.com. And then there is a section there, Java Dev Gym. And then you can practice. You can take the challenge. Um, and uh, you can take them right. Um, and we can compete with other users. And if you like the video, give a like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, see you the next week.